Heyo, duckies, Andy Lippy here, back with another OBS tutorial, and do you not find it so, so frustrating when you've opened up OBS, you're ready to start your stream, and you forgot to open something, I don't know, Leoran board, maybe live splits if you're a speedrunner, or, or anything, any other application that you use day in, day out for streaming, and that one time you just forget to open it, well, have no fear. With this handy little script that I'm going to show you through now, you can open any application at the same time as opening OBS, so your stream setup can be ready to go instantly. Never forget anything. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. So to get this working, we're going to have to download a cheeky little script. We've uh, covered scripts in the past on the channel. There's a lot of handy ones out there that can do different things. Definitely check out some of my other videos on that. But this one is from a guy called Davey B. And this is OBS Auto Starter. It does pretty much what it says on the tin. It adds a script into OBS and it basically starts any executable. As simple as that. So let's get it downloaded. We're just going to hit download in the top right just there. I actually already have it downloaded, so it probably is going to download it twice. So I'm going to delete the other one for a second. So you'll get this, autostarter.lua just there. So we're just going to copy it, okay? And we need to navigate to your OBS folder. So mine's in C drive. And then in Program Files, it could be in Program Files 86, depends where you've installed it to. Then we're going to go into OBS-Studio, all lowercase, and go into Data. And then OBS-plugins, all lowercase again, and into frontend-tools. Open that up, you should see scripts, and we're just going to paste it in there. The reason why I usually recommend pasting it into here is because that folder is auto-selected when you try and add a script in OBS. So it means you don't have to navigate for everything, and it keeps all your scripts in one place. So we're just going to press continue, it's going to ask for admin privileges and all that jazz, and you can see autostarter.lua just there. And we can open up OBS. Don't have to restart OBS because it's not an actual plugin since we're going to load the script in separately. And once in OBS, head up to tools and go down to scripts. So once here, you'll see any scripts that you've used in the past. If you're using my zoom and follow that you're seeing now, you'll have that in there. We're just going to go down and press the plus sign. Hit that. And as I said, it'll open up the correct uh, folder that's ready to go. You should see auto starter right there. We're just going to double click that to open it. So, there are a couple of restrictions with this uh, script. You, basically, any executable file cannot have a space in its name. So, I'm going to give you an example of this. So, if I press Browse, for instance, and I want to use Leoran Board. So, I'm going to navigate to my Leoran Board folder and go to Leoran Board Receiver, and I want to open Leoran Board Receiver. But it's called Leoran Board Space Receiver. So, if I try and open that, We'll get this error saying Windows cannot find Leoran board. So we just press OK. And then you need to press defaults just here. Press defaults and that's going to send you back to um, the, the previous settings. It shouldn't mess about with any other scripts. It's just that one script that it sends back to default. Then we can press browse again. So I'm going to rename Leoran board receiver. So if I head to where Leoran board is and go to Leoran board receiver, and all I need to do is just click on it, rename it, however you want to do that, delete the space, and just put an underscore. Or you could just delete the space, it's completely up to you. The, it shouldn't mess about with Leon Board or anything like that, just changing the name of the executable, but it, if it does, then you kind of know what the, the issue is, but it should be fine. I've been doing it for a little while, and it's all worked out fine. So I'm close that down, and press Browse again. Navigate to Leon Board underscore receiver, double click that, and it should open up Leon Board automatically it will take a second it might ask you to um because you've changed the name of the executable you might have to tell windows that it's cool to connect to the internet all that jazz and i'm just going to close the orange board close this close obs and go back to my desktop just here we're going to open up obs again so my streaming obs and we should now see the orange board open at the exact same time so OBS is open and Leoran board has opened as well. So I'm ready to stream now. Everything's connected because I've got Leoran board to auto complete everything, connect to OBS, connect to Twitch, all that jazz. So that's it. I can press start streaming. We've started. But say if you want to open multiple pieces of software, because when we go up to tools and go to scripts, you will see just here it's loading all my uh, all my extensions right now. We can only select one executable, which that's not really useful for us something that we can do is if we navigate to that uh, folder that we we're in previously 
So in the C drive, then program files, we're going to go into OBS-Studio, and then we're going to go to Data, OBS Plugins, and Front-end Tools, and Scripts. We can actually copy Auto Starter and paste it again. Press Continue. And we can rename it something like Auto Starter 1, for instance. Press Continue, that's fine. And now we've got Auto Starter and Auto Starter 1. So when we now add in another script, we can add Auto Starter 1. So now we've got two different Auto Starters just here. So if I press Browse and I want to choose something else, say I'm doing speed running, which I, I've started doing on my channel. If you want to see me run at Final Fantasy 7, come, come and check me out. Uh, and if I go to my downloads, we'll see we've got some stream up tools there. Mm, exciting. But we can see livesplit.exe. I can open that up as well, and that'll open it up right now. It usually takes a couple of seconds because obviously it loads all your settings in live split and everything like that. So I'm just going to press close for now and close this down. Close OBS down. Oh, it's just finished loading that. I'm going to exit everything. Close absolutely everything that is just open. So close down the Orem board. And now I'm just going to open up OBS. So it's going to load OBS, it's going to run the script, it's loaded up the Orem board receiver, and it's also loaded up my live split. So you can do that with absolutely anything. So it, any executable, as long as it is just one whole name and it doesn't have a space in there or anything like that, you can load up any software that you want. So it just makes, it, it improves your workflow. There's no need to set things up, put get everything ready, connect things up. You just open OBS and all your streaming software is ready to go. Super handy script and it's free. As like uh, everything on this channel that I ever talk about is always free, right? So please make sure you do leave uh, the uh, Davey B a, uh, a review, all that jazz, because it's incredible. I'm going to be leaving one right now as well. So uh, yeah, hope you guys like it. These videos take me a while to research and make. So if you want to support me, then consider just sending me a coffee or I don't know, join the channel membership or Patreon, whatever. Help support make this content and everything like that. But yeah, put your rock in the stone and I'll see you in the next one. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.